I'm so irritated right now. Why did they just make me pay a total of $300 today just to renew my effing tabs? First, they talking about it's a $50 holding charge because my tabs went overdue. So I wasn't expecting the $50 charge, but I was like, okay, whatever, cool. I know that I was still gonna have to pay at least 118 or 120. Why the fuck is it 232? She talking about they won't let me pay just for the remainder of this year. I have to pay for this year and next year. 230 something dollars, bro, for this one little sticker. I don't think y'all really understand how irritated I am about that right now. I see why niggas ride around with no insurance. I see why I've been riding around with no insurance and expired tabs. That shit expensive. I'm trying to look at the bright side of it because if I would have continued to drive around with expired tabs and no insurance, and if I would have got pulled over again, it would have just been even more money that I had to pay, so. Tell me why I just stopped at the court just to be sure I didn't have to pay nothing else. Why did they just tell me I have to pay $195 plus $160 for when I got pulled over? But not only that, they told me I have to pay this ASAP or my license is going to be suspended. Come on! <laughs> I can't make this shit up, bro. I started off my morning so good. Okay, there we go. My morning started off so good until I started going to take care of all this extra shit, bro. I would have the extra fucking money to pay all this shit and Facebook will pay me my fucking money. Facebook still ain't fucking pay me my money. They owe me over a thousand dollars right now. I've been emailing the shit out them niggas get, trying to get my money. That's why I don't fuck with Facebook. That's why I fuck with YouTube. YouTube don't never mess with my money. My money come on the 21st of every month with no questions asked. Never got no issues with my YouTube money. Facebook on some other shit. They been holding my money for two months. I gave them the benefit of the doubt the first month. But this month, I still ain't get paid. Nah, y'all about to run me my shit because I put in a lot of work uploading to y'all motherfucking platform. This shit irritating, dog. I don't got no choice but to pay the fucking money now because if they suspend my license well all this fucking money that I just paid to get my car legal is gonna be for nothing because I'm gonna still be risking riding around with no license I just had to go take out another four hundred dollars to pay these stupid ass tickets hold on y'all let me get in here and pay this real quick get in this gas station get some windshield wiper fluid because my windows are dirty i ain't gotta wash the fluid and then i'm about to talk to y'all about all this fucking money that i just paid just to be legal on the road which is ridiculous and i gotta hurry up because i gotta get to work on time so hold on a minute give me a second oh i don't even know where the fuck this windshield wiper fluid go oh this wiper fluid? I think so. Ah. Fuck. Ugh. All right, there we go. We got some stuff to talk about because I am highly, highly upset right now. Hold on, I gotta get into work so I can clock in. Alright, All right, we clocked in. I have to come in this little soundproof thing real quick at my job so I can talk to y'all before I go to my desk. Some of y'all don't think that I'm still working at my job. But as you can see, I'm still here. Y'all know I'm still here because if I wasn't, I would tell y'all. So why is y'all in the comments talking about, oh, he quit his job? Come on now. 
I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. And I do have 80 hours of paid time off. I used like three days already. So I think I got like maybe 50 something hours left and I'm taking off all next week because I'm just irritated, bro. I'm irritated with life right now. And I just pay all this extra unnecessary money. Well, not unnecessary, but all this money, right? To get all of this stuff taken care of. And I just need time to myself. So it's my time. It's just something that they offer at this job, right? After 30 days, you get 80 hours of paid time off. So I'm about to show y'all me requesting my time off and so I can have all next week off. And uh, I, bro, I walked past the CEO of the company when I was coming in. I walked past, I put the camera down a little bit. I didn't want him to see that I was recording. I was like, how you doing? He was like, what's going on? Or something like that, he said. I walked right past that nigga. He the owner of the Phoenix Suns. Nigga's a billionaire, bro. I was about to ask that nigga if he could help me out with a little money. Shit. I wasn't really excited to see the nigga though because shit, nigga ain't doing shit for my life. I mean, besides giving me a place to work for right now, but I'm about to tell y'all exactly why this job is not even worth me working. Hold on, yo, I'm about to take y'all outside so we can talk. Damn, it's so cold. <sighs> Turn that heat on. <sighs> I just had to come back out to the car real quick and talk to y'all for a minute and talk about all this money that I just had to pay today. I took y'all with me to Secretary of State. First, they made me pay a $51 late fee. They also made me pay a total of $236.83. But not only that though, I also had to go to the court this morning because I got pulled over a month ago and they gave me a ticket for driving with expired tags and no insurance. They tell me I gotta pay a total of $355 that I just paid this morning. I just wanna remind y'all, that's 355 plus 236 plus 51 that I, all, that I paid all this morning alone. Just this morning, right? That's not even including my insurance that I got a couple days ago, which I paid 280 something dollars for. And then that's not even including these brand new tires that I just got on my car, right? So all this stuff that I just paid literally about close to a thousand dollars just to have my car on the road legal all of that right crazy amount of money bro and this is why i am taking an entire week off next week because this is not the life i want to live and let me tell you something let me get out here i need to tell y'all this right now i'm making 16 dollars 50 at this job i'm taking home 490 dollars a week right so you add that up 490 dollars over the course of a month that's about 1900 dollars. so that's 800 in rent right that's 180 in car insurance Oh, don't forget my consumer's bill, right? That's my heat, which is about $70 a month. My DTE bill, which is about $80 or $90 a month. My phone bill, which is $85 a month. Oh, don't, don't, don't forget. Let me tell y'all, because y'all love coming at me for this. I don't get food stamps no more. You know how much food stamps I get right now? $22 a month in food stamps. That's how much I get in food stamps now. $22 because I'm working, right? So you got to take out at least the extra $150, 200 a month out of pocket for food every single month and mind you this is all coming out of this $1,900 so at this point we down to about $400 at this point but when you take into the account of everyday necessities household necessities right gas and everything else that you pay right what the fuck am I taking home at the end of the month so I'm literally about to have only about 150 or 200 something dollars to my name at the end of the month after all my expenses working a job living in low-income housing Man, if y'all don't get the fuck out of here, 
I'm about to work this job all the way up until the end of this month, and I'm quitting this bitch. My hands just froze. Oh my God, hold on. Ow! This shit hurt. Just to show y'all, me working this job, bro, when I'm talking about I'm not gonna have no money, I am literally gonna be working to pay bills. But if I quit this job and I just do my gig work, right? I get my YouTube income and then I do Instacart. My rent is way lower so I can save a lot more money. So what I'm about to do, as y'all just saw, I just took an entire week off work next week. All pay is my hours that they give to me, right? I took that off. And so next week, I'm about to grind on my Instacart app. Just grind, 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 and grind on YouTube, right? All self-employed income. Grind, grind, grind. Because I'm still be getting paid for the whole week from here, right? And so that following week, I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to work that week. And then I'm going to take that next week off and use the rest of my time. So I can rack up as much money as I can for the rest of this month. Because I'm done, bro. I can't live like that, bro. And I'm showing y'all, this is the reality of my life when I got a job, bro. If I was in market rate, I don't have that flexibility to quit my job and just focus on my gig work right i got room to do that and that's why i be trying to tell y'all if i was market rate bro i would be check to check bro and i wouldn't have no choice but to live that way who the fuck is one i know y'all living that way right now a lot of people are living that way you don't have to live that way bro who wants to live that way i don't care what y'all say that's that's terrible i would do whatever i gotta do to grind to live out a life where i'm not struggling where i'm not check to check and i'm just showing y'all right now the reality of me keeping a job it doesn't do nothing for my life bro I know y'all like to judge me. I know y'all like to talk about me. Y'all like to call me lazy and all this. And depending on the government, bro, let me tell y'all, I am not struggling for you. I'm not struggling for nobody. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about me. The world is going to keep revolving either way. If you die today, if I die today, nothing would change. Nobody would care. The world is not going to care. So why is you caring what people think about you surviving? Nigga, you think I give a fuck about what anybody think about me? Excuse my language. I don't care. I am surviving. I am trying to live a stable, comfortable life without struggling. And if I got to be in low income right now to do that, I am taking advantage of that as much as I can because I ain't got nothing to prove to you. I ain't got nothing to prove to the world because don't nobody care. Listen to me, man. Take care of yourself. Make life easier for you. Because you're going to be living that way for your whole life, man. I'm telling you, nothing is going to change. You think paying market rate rent is a flex? No, bro. That's, that's, that's keeping you broke. And that's it, bro. I am done talking to y'all about this, right? I'm going to vlog everything else in my life. I'm never talking about my living expenses, how much money I'm making, none of that. Because I'm showing y'all right now exactly why this will keep me broke. Well, y'all can think what y'all want. I do not give a fuck, bro. I am not living this way. I am not about to live this way, bro. Y'all got it. I'm straight. All this fucking money I just spent, it's too much, bro. It's too much. I can't live like this. And I done bought these motherfucking $140 Uggs a couple days ago. I wouldn't have bought these bitches if I knew I had all this extra fucking money I was going to have to pay. I didn't know I was going to have to pay all that shit, bro. I just wanted to do something nice for myself, do a little bit of shopping, and all that, I done gave my mom 200 something dollars for her to go, you know, have a little bit of extra money to go Black Friday shopping. You feel me? I'm just spending. You feel me? I'm thinking I'm good. But life always throws curveballs, bro. Every time. Every time you think you got it together, every time you got a little bit of money saved up, boom. Life will smack you right in the fucking face. Oh, my grandma, my mom's mom, bro, she just retired from her job, like, I don't know, during the summertime, right? And she's still worried about her money, bro. You feel me? Like, if she worked her entire life, bro, she retired, but she's still, like, being careful with her money because life, bro. So you telling me you can work your whole life and still retire and still have to worry about money? I refuse to live like that. I will die chasing my goals, bro. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't understand what I'm willing to do, bro. Life is life, bro. It's, it's, life is hard, bro, for everybody. And I'm just telling y'all, y'all have to make changes in your life. You have to try something different, bro, because you're going to be struggling every single time. You don't want to live that way. All right, y'all. See y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Yes, sir.